Hi, I'm Eric and I'm going to show you how to make one of these force sensitive resistors that you just heard. A force sensitive resistor works like a variable resistor where the resistance drops as you press it harder. This FSR consists of two thin sheets of copper film tape sandwiching six layers of Velostat. Velostat is a conductive material used for packaging whose resistance gets lower when pushed. The more layers of Velostat, the more range you get in your sensor. I use strips of paper to keep the copper film in place, but adhesive plastic film is probably better. Carefully tape the copper film to the paper to avoid any tension building up, making the sensor bulge. And be careful that the two strips of copper film can never touch. If they do, they short the circuit and the sensor won't work. As you can see, there is a bubble in my copper film tape, so I have to very carefully try to remove it. And then I have to make sure that the whole copper film tape sits flat against the paper. Otherwise, values may not be linear across the surface of the sensor. Do the second copper film tape just the same as the first one. Now add the layers of Velostat in between the copper strips. I use normal adhesive tape to keep the strips together. When doing this, make sure that no tension builds up again between the different strips. Also make sure that the tape doesn't push the sensor together too much. If the sensor bulges too much, you can just remove the tape and try again. To read values from the resistor, connect one of the copper film tabs to power and the other to an analog input on your microcontroller with a pull-down resistor of 1 kilo ohm to ground. I use two of these FSRs together with a soft pot and I use the FSRs to get an X value depending on which FSR is pushed the hardest in addition to the Y value that I get from the soft pot. This synthesis doesn't really use the X value though, it only uses the raw values from the resistors. But you can see a calculation of the X value on the graph to the left. The two knobs display the resistor values. I only send the values to the GUI 10 times a second, which isn't fast enough to catch all of these percussive changes. But you can hear that the sensors are reacting quickly enough.
Thank <laughs> you.